think I'm like most Australians and I just love a road trip. I can spend endless hours behind the wheel of a car exploring new towns and regions. Today I'm exploring a new emerging region of Perth, the Perth Hills. And even better, I've got a cracking car to explore it with. The hills are another underappreciated gem of Perth, relatively unknown on the east coast. A quick 45 minutes drive and I'm in rolling verdant hills that are nothing like the sandy flat plains I think of as Perth. The Perth hills are bookended by two towns. There's Armadale in the south and Mundaring in the north. The drive between them traverses two national parks and a state forest. You coast through eucalyptus glades and then come out amongst beautiful vines and orchards. And amongst all this are cute little towns that you can go for a meander amongst eclectic shops, have a coffee and a meal, or just hang out in some art galleries. Being elevated to almost 400 metres above sea level, means this is great fruit growing country, so the area is full of vineyards and cideries. Most of the cellar doors can be found in the Bickley and Carmel Valleys near the town of Kalamunda, almost exactly halfway between Mundaring and Armadale. I'm really reconsidering my decision to drive. One of the most innovative and interesting producers of wine in the hills is Myattsfield Vineyards. What is it about the hills that makes it so unique? Uh, well, a couple of interesting elements to this climate. One is the elevation, which obviously moderates the, the heat. And the second is the Darling Scarp, which really shelters us from the, uh, the maritime winds. So it's a very unique continental style climate. And that allows you to be really innovative, because that's why I've come here. There's so much going on. What's the most innovative thing you've done recently? Well, one of our newest products is our Mistel, which is uh, basically a, a brandied fortified juice that we're selling as a, an aperitif style cocktail or a base for cocktail mixes. Right, so this will be coming to a funky bar in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide soon. Fingers crossed. For lunch, I'm heading to the hill's most celebrated and picturesque restaurants, the Vineyard Kitchen at Brookside Cellar Door. This just does not feel like Perth. It is a unique environment. How do you describe it to people? We've got the magnificent rolling hills, everything's so green, it's so peaceful and we have great uh, family-run restaurants and we've only got around about 10 or 11 boutique wineries and people can come up here, sit down in the peace and quiet, enjoy a glass of wine, talk to the owners about their wine and then stay the day and have a lovely lunch. Well, Pete, thanks very much for having us. I know you don't want it to change, but I think it's going to... Thank you, Quentin. It's tempting to pigeonhole this region as Adelaide Hills in the West, but that really wouldn't do it justice. There's a whole heap of experimentation and innovation going on in the Perth Hills that really is remarkable. I'm really glad I got to see it today because it's going to be an evolving destination over the next three to five years. And what I found today is just the beginning. <laughs>